What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Flay. Today we got a couple couple things I want you uh, to ask yourselves as we watch this video together. I'm going to be posting clips, segments, and then uh, the full full me going over and into the 20 minute uh, apology thing that he's going on. That's going to be a completely separate video. But today we're going to be explaining uh, and really asking the questions of Doctor Disrespect and his return, his controversial take, uh, his no nonsense, uh, complete avoidance. Uh, not addressing a situation, allegation behind his Twitch band and the the self the proclaimed reason of of um, messaging the minor, right? So uh, Dr. Disrespect, whose real name is Herschel Guy Beam, uh, returned to streaming after a controversial and unexplained permanent ban from Twitch in June 2020. What is my notes? Why are they all together? Returning after the alleged interaction with a minor, uh, self-admitted interaction with a minor that would sometimes lean to being inappropriately. He himself has said this. This is his words. I'm going to try and find the clip or try and find the screenshot of the tweet. Put it up for you guys. Uh, one, the lack of transparency from Twitch is what he's blaming. Um, also, his desire to continue his career. Really the only reason why he truly, I think, wanted to come back. Um, financial considerations being brought onto that as well. I'm just saying. I mean, it, so in his explanation... Twitch never provided a clear reason for Dr. Disrespect's ban, leaving both him and the public without a solid explanation. The ambiguity fueled curiosity and speculation, but it also enabled Dr. Disrespect to pivot his narrative to regain control of his own platform. Now, during his pivot of his own control, he admits that he was talking to a minor, allegedly. Now he wants the chats to be leaked. He wants the chats to be dropped. But, given this clip... People want to show the messages! Release the messages! Show the messages! What are we in second grade? It doesn't look like he wants the chats to be talked about. What are we second grade? You would love to be in second grade. Shout out Ronaldo. Play that clip. People want to show the messages. Release the messages. Show the messages. <laughs> what are we in second grade? Wouldn't you like to be? Release the messages. <laughs> Now, my main reasoning and questioning for all this that he's coming for, well, one, when he got signed to Twitch in 2019, he had a shitty partner manager. The, these, these are his claims, right? Two, partner manager holds a grudge, um, scrapes his whisper messages, like, like, or scraps his whisper messages. Um, four, he sends them to trust and safety with the apparent minor, keep in mind. Uh, five, they admit internally nothing wrong which is also crazy to me. Six, the same dude sends the messages to his connections in the LTR team. Uh, seven, the dude takes a bunch of out of context screenshots, which is how out of context can we get here with this situation, right? It sends them a director who was on holiday and then he got back. The important notes, shout out uh, Ghost Dog, by the way, or Ghost Dog on Twitter. Shout them out. The important notes are one, the apparent victim did not want to escalate to Twitch. Uh, multiple law enforcement agencies determined he did nothing wrong. He won the case, and he claims it was just banter. Time to disrespect won the case. There was no illegal wrongdoings. So I'm assuming this went to a court at some point. This went to a judge at some point, and the judge deemed that nothing wrong had happened. So I guess after all of this, he's just reapplying for YouTube monetization on September 25th. He never intended to meet the minor, too. That was another crazy thing. I don't care. That's always the excuse with these, you know, these uh, PDFs, right? I never intended to actually meet them. Come on, guys. Come on. I never intended to actually meet them. But yeah, we still call you out in public in this comment place. But we told you to meet us up where you would meet the minor if it was a real minor. But, I, you know, we really haven't seen anything. I really want them to release the messages. Release the messages, right? Release the messages. His response to that, release the messages, Doc. What do you mean? Second grade? I lost all respect for him. All respect. If he somehow comes back and wins this... It is, but it just changes our views, changes our narratives. But right now, the narrative you yourself put in place, Dr. Disrespect, you yourself said you were meeting up with a minor. You yourself, or excuse me, not meeting up with a minor. You were talking inappropriately with a minor, sometimes leading to being inappropriate. Unprofessionally, as an inappropriate, that's fine. I took it as inappropriate as uh, you were sexting a minor. Um, that could be because I'm in the commentary community, but a lot of people thought that too. And the other, uh, why? Why? Why even go that route, right? Yes. Then I'm going to take it. In the meantime, like we always done, we've always stayed in our lane. We'll stay in our lane and continue to just put on a show. You know? 
for almost four years, champs, the public demanded to hear from the doc regarding the Twitch suspension. I guess since you all missed the point with my personal statement, maybe it's time to tell my side of the story. Huh, champs? You see, there was a lawsuit pending, and as part of that arbitration, all parties were not allowed to speak publicly about the case. <laughs> I respected those rules. My lawsuit against Twitch was eventually resolved, as you all know. But even then, as part of the settlement, all parties were still prohibited from speaking publicly about the case or the settlement. However, if one side violated that confidentiality, then the other side could respond. And again, champs, again, I respected all the confidential obligations. <laughs> mm -mm. But apparently Twitch's own disgruntled employees didn't feel the need to abide by those same obligations. Cody Connors, ex-Twitch employee, wasn't even involved leaks Twitch's reported reason. Years later, Cody, why, why, you, why do this? What was the point? This was settled professionally. And you, knowing how black and white the internet is, you decided, you fucking rat, to leak the reported reason Twitch banned me in 2020. I mean, for what, Cody? Why? Did you not know the repercussions from spewing lies about the two-time? Did you not know the repercussions of accusing me, Cody Connors? You see, you don't know shit, and it was obvious from your tweet. You didn't have any firsthand knowledge of my dispute with Twitch. You said that I got banned from Twitch because I was sexting a minor through Whisper's messages? <laughs> do you even know what the legal definition of sexting is? I do. And yeah, I used Twitch's Whispers, but trust me, I wasn't sexting anyone. You also said the word minor, Cody. I even made sure that word was emphasized in my statement, edited, etc., just to make sure these so-called journalists would pick up on it. <laughs> and boy, oh boy, did they ever, champs. When you and all these so-called journalists, Cody, fired off your tweets, did any of you consider that the Twitch user may have been over the legal age of consent at the time of the messages? You didn't. Neither did any of these journalists, and neither did Twitch at the time of the ban. You also tried to tell the world that I was trying to meet up with this user at TwitchCon, but you're wrong. Let's set the record straight. I never intended to meet this user ever. We never made plans to meet at TwitchCon or anywhere else, and in fact, we n never met in person ever. Your bullshit accusations gave false courage to other former Twitch employees to make shit up as well. I will say, I, I'm kind of taking Dr. Disrespect's case here. Um, I might just be taking his side a little bit. I mean, if he was convicted or, or lack of conviction and it did go to a court of law and he was not found guilty of anything, and I, I guess he's innocent, right? That would make him innocent and just a little weird that they would never fully explain this. Um, it, it does really look like Twitch was specifically going after him because they just don't like him. I just want to see the messages because his response to show the messages, Doc, show the messages. And he goes, ah, blah, 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 blah. what are we, second grade? That's a little weird to me. And now I'm back on the fence, bro. You had me one. Now I'm not. I'm just, let me know what you guys think. I really need to know. I'll see you on the next show. Subscribe if you're brand new. I'm out of here.